Alrighty guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna to be doing tire technician reacts to certain TikToks about advice or even like some fails and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and react, baby, let's go. All right guys, before I even get this started, let's go ahead and subscribe and also like this video already because these videos are gonna be pretty funny and it's gonna be a fun experience. So let's go. Tires for your car. Buy used tires instead. I just replaced my back two snow tires yesterday because my old ones were completely shot. Like I was sliding everywhere. There was no tread left. So I went online, typed in the exact tires I needed and saw that they were $282 each or $677 after all taxes and fees for two tires. So instead, I bought them used with Mountain Balance, fees, whatever other fees, plus tax for $308.19. Now you're probably thinking I think it's so funny that this guy really thinks he did something because sometimes used tires aren't okay like I sell used tires at my tire shop and sometimes they're not as good as you think because they've already been like through so much even though the used tires that we have are really high grade I still wouldn't say that that's gonna be the end all be all you know what I mean so be careful what you do with that so take all that information with a grain of salt oh they're super old and super used look at this they're brand new like brand new a new tire is considered to have... Like, bro, even at that is like, if you're going to be buying a nice car like the one that he has, uh, let me see what brand it is. He literally has a Lexus. Like, bro, why would you even buy a Lexus? If you're going to be complaining about tires, I feel like if you're going to be buying a nice vehicle, like, bro, I think tires, oil changes, all that stuff should be like the least of your worries. Like, I feel like if you're going to be like this guy and be a cheapskate with your life, does not deserve to be driving a Lexus. I'm sorry, bro. So yeah, don't follow this advice, especially if you have like a Mercedes or something like that. Like, trust me, guys, these vehicles, they run better with the tires that they come with like literally the recommendation i don't know i can go in a whole tangent but literally go with the recommendation even though it's expensive it's going to save you in the long run because this guy he's probably not putting it on social media but this man probably like got a blowout god forbid he didn't but just saying yo you know, one time I was driving and I literally saw like a guy like this come out and but the thing is that he was like in a huge truck He comes out and like he had a shotgun. I swear this sounds fake But he literally had a shotgun and he was like literally telling the other person like yo Like you need to get out of my spot like literally in the same scenario and that's crazy that this actually exists at first I was actually thinking like, yo, this guy, this has to be fake whenever I saw that in person because I literally just got out of Chick-fil-A and I remember that day I was vlogging and I wish I would have recorded that, but it was crazy, man. I remember that day I was like so scared. I was like right behind that vehicle and I was like, bro, am I next? Like what's gonna happen? <laughs> All right, see what CNN has for us. Yo, that's insane. Dude, imagine just like literally being the person recording. That's freaking crazy. In that scenario, I wouldn't even know what to do. Imagine like I, I've seen coolers, like whenever I'm going to the beach, I've seen coolers literally fall out of people's trucks and I like know how to dodge them. I feel like Dom Toretto up in it, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this right here is gonna be impossible, especially if you're riding a little car like that. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm not trying to be mean. Like what happened to the truck? I kind of want to know what happened to the truck too. I feel like they're focusing too much on the Kia, even though, yeah, I understand. Poor Kia, right? But what happened to the truck? Yo. Oh my God. That's crazy. These people literally would have been the Kia, but that's crazy how this literally went over them. Damn, dude. My luck, I would have been like the Kia. Yo, that's insane. Like, what would you do if you literally see, saw that scenario happen? Like, would you go? Because you saw that they were going fast. Was it good that they went fast or should they slow down? Because I feel like since they were going fast, I don't know. I feel like it just depends on your luck that day. It depends if you prayed before you left. Like, that's what it really depends on. Like, have you been a good boy? Are you on Santa's naughty list or nice list? Like, that's what it really all goes on because think about it if they would have gone a little bit slower and they were like a little bit more behind because whenever you break you're going slow right so what would have happened that would have probably hit them right in the window and probably killed the like the driver i don't know that's insane they did the right thing i feel like i wouldn't have done the right thing for sure blind tire hit man sitting in store that's insane Yo, what the heck? You know what this reminds me of? The whole like Campbell's chicken noodle soup uh, commercial. Whenever that girl, she like wanted the Campbell's chicken noodle soup and then it starts like following them. Like they literally have every angle. How does that make sense?
Yo, that's so random. Like, I, I know a lot of businesses have the cameras. It looks kind of planned. I'm not saying it is, but it just kind of looks planned. I bet you that hurts. I remember one time I was like still a rookie. Like, I remember I was balancing a tire. It literally fell off and I stopped it with my foot. At first, I was trying to stop it with my knee because I was like, oh, it's just a rubber. It's not going to hurt. I put my kneecap against it. Freaking hurt. And then like it was going so fast and wobbling that I literally put my foot on it and that thing almost yanked off my foot. Like tires are crazy. Like, especially whenever they're going full speed. I think when you balance them, they're going at least 60 miles per hour. Oh, snap. What's she doing? What? The? No way. No way this is gonna happen. Bro, what? Was she doing that that Kiki challenge? The Kiki, do you love me? That's crazy. Like, she had major mental problems, said the news. So I feel bad for saying that joke. This is like she had mental health issues. Insanity to get out of the charges. To use the insanity defense, she's got to prove that she's incapable of understanding the wrongfulness of her actions. To do this, she would use med. Okay, I I must skip that one because I feel like I can't really like react to that because I don't know. I just feel like I did not know that was gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like, I thought it was just like the clip, move on. Sorry, guys. So I'm taking back my comment on what I said before that. Yeah, I didn't know this was going to happen. This woman was accidentally locked out of her car while it moved in reverse. You were like, what would you do in this situation? This is so scary. That's crazy. I don't blame them. Like, how would you stop that? Someone helped her by smashing the window and then got inside to pull the hand I mean, that's break. smart. Because, I mean, at that point, what would you do? It's so funny to me that this guy is actually a girl. Dude, do that. Don't judge here. Like, they're just recording it. Like, bro, like, at least put the camera down, let it record, and go help. I don't know. I just think it's funny. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like, the cameras, where they're at in the moment, and how people record, they just look staged and fake. What the? You can't tell me that was a human. That's crazy, what the hell? Why does he just drive off? Wait, I'm confused. Did this person like get slingshotted on this car? <laughs> How's that even real? And then he just disappears. Like this man doesn't even exist after that. What? Imagine getting a car just delivered like casually, like bro. It's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, who's really at fault here? This guy, he he was like kind of, the guy in the Audi, he was kind of like showing what he was doing. And then the motorcycle guy, he had time. What was he really doing? Texting and driving? Like, what's going on? I went on he went on a car that drove on the water. But it went really wrong. It started off fine at first, then this happened. We hit a huge wave. That's so cool, I wouldn't want to do that. The whole car broke down in the middle of the ocean. The car wouldn't start, and we were found. This is so dramatic. This is fake. No supplies, and it's burning hot. There's literally people around them. What do you mean? And it's literally a rental. What people do for views. I'm one of them. I'll probably make a video like that if I ever go where they were. Yo, bro. Who are you, bro? Like, don't tell me this is a car. If that's his car, that's gonna be an expensive ass windshield. And if it's not his car, that's still an expensive ass windshield. If someone did that to my car just randomly, like just to be funny, I'd be like, bro, like even if they didn't break the window, I'd be pissed as hell. Alrighty guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. I hope y'all like the style, just reacting to different videos that I had seen. And yeah, I hope y'all liked it guys. Sophisticated Mauricio signing out. You already know the drill, baby. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you on the next video guys. Peace.